Number six, Tara. It's difficult for the insulin-resistant patient to lose weight by burning fat. Rising insulin levels keep fat locked up in the fat cell. We must attack the root cause of the high insulin levels first, Dr. Reven. This is the number one reason why low-fat, low-calorie diets fail. What are your thoughts on that? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, mean it's just, it's just, do you go a little crazy when you see people yeah. recommending low-fat, low-calorie diets uh, like we saw? We saw that in the paper, uh, and Tom and Gary talked about it about three weeks ago, and, and I thought Tom was going to lose his mind. He, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just craziness, and, but mm -hmm. we still see that out there, and it just... We, we go a little berserk when we see that recommendation. Right. You know, I actually have a great case that maybe I can present sometime and, and put in a format we can share with others. It's actually a gentleman who has, this is all about this, uh, this actual issue, 3,000 particles, LDL particles, now recognize under 1,000 is normal. Yeah. Now this man is taking Niosban 2 grams, he's taking Crestor 40, he's taking Zetia 10, and he still has 3,000 particles. The guy's thin. He's not an overweight guy, he exercises, and he is frustrated. And he's coming in, and I've gone so far as to call the pharmacy to make sure he's actually filling the pills to make sure he's being compliant with his meds, and he is. So, and he's eating heart healthy, is what he told us, which when we finally had a, a deeper conversation about that, realized what he was doing was low-fat, low-calorie diet. And he was eating, you know, healthy, Kashi type cereal for breakfast organic and shredded wheats and and all these things that certainly were considered you know optimal and we said you know what we're gonna do for the next three months I don't have any more drugs to give you you're already on a whole lot of therapy what we're gonna do is forget the cereal you're eating I want you to eat an egg or two for breakfast we totally converted him to a uh, obviously a low carb diet versus low fat and he he was resistant because he thought in his mind that certainly didn't sound healthy to him didn't change his drugs at all. Uh, three months later, he came back, and his NMR lipo profile showed 1,400 particles versus 3,000, with no change um, but a transition from a, a low-fat, in quotes, healthy diet to a, uh, a low-carb diet, which is obviously going to have more fats in it but became healthier. And in his, in his situation, that's what he needed. That's what ultimately needed to fix his, you know, really very substantial particle elevation. He obviously needs the meds too because he's got bad genes. Um, but, but that was just a really good case in point to really um, put forth this message that we're, we're certainly trying to present.